What's up, Bossip? Uh, this is Jay here, and we're here with Ron Artest, and we're in the studio. Uh, he's getting in his creative mindset, so tell us a little bit about it, man. Yeah, man, you know, it's a day off today, so we ain't, we're not really, uh, you know, uh, it's not taking a toll physically right now. You know, so I, on my day off, I try to get into the lab, see what the artist is doing, and today we got a lot of people coming in today. You know, as far as my artists and people that's going to be working with my artists, producers, and we're going to create from scratch today. Well, go Logos, you know, it's going great, man. A lot of support. You know, my first record ever that I got added. Been doing music for like 12 years. You know, I've been trying to get it out there and get records on radio. It's been real hard. You know, there's competition out there. You know, when you got Mary J and Jay Z and and Dido from top 40 to pop to rock to rap, hip hop, it's competition. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I got my first record, Go Loco, added on KGGI. Um, Thanks to the artist that was on the record, you know, Fat Joe, Aventura, I'd be real, um, down, lean like a cholo, um, George Lopez. <laughs> um, everybody has something to do with it. Why is it that Ron Artest, we're talking about a Laker yeah. championship, champion is, is having a hard time getting his music on the radio? Well, you know, it was hard because, um, first off, you know, this is people's livelihood, so if you're not coming correct, you know, it's not going to be on the radio, you know, from the business to the creative part, you know. And now it's the first time that I think I can't correct, you know, from the beat to the to the musicians on the, on the, on the mixtape, on the record, you know. And, and then I got a dope artist on the record, which is my artist, Taz. You know, but before I just think, you know, people just overlooked me every time. And I don't think I put extra effort in trying to get it on the radio. I, I don't really have as much time as they have to run their label, you know. So my labels run totally different you know, from anybody else's label out there, uh, e even from the start to the, to, to the finish. You know, at the beginning, I've been doing this for 12 years, and I'm probably at where these guys was their first two or three years. So I had the higher staffs, and it took me a while. I learned by myself. Nobody taught me, all the music people I've been around, nobody taught me how to do this. You know, nobody really, you know, was giving me any handouts, you know. I was a basketball player, you know, I was, from from day one, I was uh, criticized, you know, from day one. And um, so I had to keep on putting up with that criticism for years. That's been the hardest part. And now, you know, I got a, a record that's great for me, and I got my artist featuring on the record, um, Taz. So this might be my first kind of uh, traction that I'm making, you know, with the Go Local record. Uh, how'd you get into rapping? How is this something yeah. that you really want to do to where... You're pretty successful in basketball. Yeah. Not pretty, you definitely are successful in basketball. Why is rapping such a passion for you? I grew up right where it started. So it was kind of impossible. And then basketball, Vern Fleming, he was on the um, Olympic team in 88 with Jordan, Chris Mullen, all these guys. So I grew up with a basketball pro, and I grew up with a top three rapper of all time, Nas. And I grew up with trendsetters in Mob Deep. So I was involved in both basketball um, and, and music from day one. You know, we had this pride just being from Queensbridge, you know, because we kind of started some movements, even with CNN, Capone and Noriega. You know, uh, Capone, my, my cousin, you know, and um, we had this movement that we started before a lot of stuff that's going on today. And I'm a part of that movement, you know, and Queensbridge music has been dead in the last couple of years. And um, so right now, it's a, it's a new breed right now from Queensbridge, a new breed of a, a, a new movement that's happening. And I'm kind of the leader right now of the Queensbridge movement. Of course, Nas is still in the game. Prodigy's home from jail. You know, so obviously they're going to make their run. What kind of impact do you want to make musically? You know what? I just want to be an asset. I want to help people. You know, really, I want to just, um, you know, develop my artists. Mm -hmm. And then I want them to put the best music out you know, and continue to put the best music out. I don't want to, you know, slack off, give 100%, don't want to half-ass it. Um, if a Grammy comes with that, that'll be amazing. Um, with the artists that I have, they want Grammys. They really do. I want a Grammy, um, realistically, myself. I don't know if I can get one I, with playing basketball, mm -hmm. how I do. So I don't know if I have the time to create the records that I really need to create and spend the time that I know I need to be in the studio you know, to make sure everything is right for my records. But for my artists, I can see I can see one or two of them getting a Grammy. Let's talk about this, um, the bill that you, uh, you, you, yeah. you're you talking about getting passed in Congress uh, to raise funds for mental yes. mental illness and stuff like that. Can you uh, speak upon that a little bit? Well, definitely. You go to ronartest.com. You can find out more about the bill. We need more stronger minds as far as the youth is involved here in America. 
I think we're losing, you know, from, from the criminal aspect, jail system, foster care, juvenile delinquents, education to parents, lack of parents um, in a household consistently, you know, lack of dads, um, lack of young boys understanding when they get old, you have to be, you have to be a good dad. You know, all that's important. All that's cool, too. And people got to understand that's the new cool. You know, getting your education, making sure your mind is right. If your mind ain't right, go on and get help. Um, talking to somebody. If you can't talk to your dad, talk to your mom. If you can't talk to your parents, talk to your bigger brother, your cousin, your uncle, basketball coach, counselor. Last, um, the last option would be go see a psychologist if you need to get your mind right. You know, getting your mind strong, it's, everything is cool about that. We already set our youth up to fail mm -hmm. with the debt, with the pollution. I love hip hop, but with some of the videos, mm -hmm. you know, with some of the, the lack of educational reality shows, now we gotta do our job and get them back on track mentally tough so the future of the country, you know, um, be strong, you know? Yeah. Or we just gonna lose, they gonna be in debt and be slaves for the rest of their life. What's the status of the bill? Like. Um the bill is, we got 38 votes, we need three more votes. <laughs> we got 38 Democratic votes. Okay, all right. And we need like three Republicans to come hop on the train real fast. Man, so, these, that, that might be the tough ones. I, you know what, and um, it's unfortunate because you know, with the debt that we're in, so that makes it even worse, you know, because it's a $250 million bill. It's going to be not for just L.A. or New York, where I'm from. It's going to be for schools around the country, you know, so... With the budget and everything in America right now, it's going to make it tough. But I think it's important. I think, um, you know, having our youth mentally strong is that's the best thing you could invest in. You feel like the, the Lakers are going to win another championship this year? Yeah, definitely, man. You know, um, I think we got a shot. I think early on we started out good. We showed people who we, are, who we were, and then we kind of slacked off. And then we show people and ourselves that if you don't take the game serious, you know, you're going to be coming in second place. You know, what's to do? From Talladega Nights, um, he said, you know, there's only one first place. And, you know, nobody, you know, second or whatever. And that's how it's going to go down if we didn't come out at, like we did after the All-Star break. Now we're showing ourselves what we made of, you know. And so the rest of the story is going to be written throughout this season. But um, Kobe's, uh, he's on a mission right now. Um, Powell's playing great. Andrew's playing, like, the best center in the NBA right now. So we got a shot. So, so what's up with the uh, the Mavericks, man? I know they uh, they they getting under your skin. You guys competing for for number two in the in uh, yeah. in the in the West. So, what, how you guys gonna fix that? What you guys gonna do with that? You know, I can't speak for every other team, but for us, I can say we lost to Cleveland twice. We lost to Memphis at home, right? Y'all should be ashamed of that Cleveland. Cleveland. I don't want to, you know. I, didn't, you know. I wish I got to talk to you then, but y'all should be ashamed of that. But go ahead, man. We lost to Milwaukee at home. We lost to Indiana at home. So, you know, we don't know if we can't speak for any other team, but we know we have not reached our potential. But let me tell you something. We're let, still fighting for second place. Let me tell you what we think, the viewers, the fans out here. Mm -hmm. We think that you guys are such an experienced championship team that um, players like you, Kobe, Gasol, Odom, Fisher. and Fisher, right? We feel like you guys know how to conserve or pace yourself. Yeah. You know when it comes down to the why, you guys are ready to play. Because we've seen it. We've seen it time and time again. And, now, of yeah. course, you lost to the Cavaliers, and we're like, yeah. all right, come on now. We know these guys are resting. Yeah. But we know they can pace us up because they're that good. So, I mean, is that a method? It, to like, Is that something you know Phil Jackson speaks upon in, in the locker room? Well, no. we we rather win every game. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, the history of different experience teams is that, yeah, they pace themselves, you know. And you hate being caught up in that. But unfortunately, I think we was we was like coasting a little bit, and um, we didn't give a hundred percent every game, you know. And and right now we like yo, if we keep slipping, we are gonna be in fifth place, mm. you know. It's bad enough we only in third, you know. So right now everybody's on their like P's and Q's, and everybody's like going hard and taking care of their bodies and everything. Yo, what's good? It's your boy our test, Ron our test number fifteen. And when you want to catch the latest news with hip hop and entertainment, you already know where to go. Bossip.com. Holla back.